Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobat. Please step inside. <laughs> Promising. Beta. Do we have it? Fantastic. Did the pulse originate here? Has someone... Something wrong? Shit! Spectres, Beta! Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um... a, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they... they had a clone of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But how could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... It's evil! It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives? Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders? Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. Aloy. It's you. Skin's like ice. Must have cut this from her head. But why? Hello, Elizabeth. Apologies, I don't know what else to call you. Um, my name is Beta. I'm afraid I, I must be brief. I only have a few minutes before my keepers discover I'm missing, and I still need to remove this implant. I had hoped to find shelter with you, but... If you're viewing this, I... I may be dead. Be careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless, and they have Aluthia, Artemis, and Apollo now. But at least I don't have the Gaia Colonel to march them with. You must succeed, or oh, this was all for nothing. Good luck, and goodbye. So she's... She's still alive. 
We need to get her back to... Oh, shit. They could fly. Aloy. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Erend? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. I'll protect her. Aloy, she's... Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for, then? You two, go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh, it's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. So, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How do they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so the descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet, and now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that... You are... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Guy and I concluded, too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they... butchered the tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so... I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Well, without their Gaia Colonel, they'll have a hard time doing that. The Zeniths needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities. So they made you. Trained you. And you went along with it? They told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. 
That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth for their own benefit. So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but the only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well, surprise. So we're dealing with the same Far Zenith people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah, I know. You mentioned the Zenith set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine lures, it, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space, other survivors of the colony. You said the Zenith's colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then Sirius. Guess they survived old age, too. How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Eleuthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the rebels killed, outside the facility. Bane is dead? How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Eleuthia faster if I had it with me, and they believed me. Well done. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. 
Aristotle and Aspasia, the, the avatars of the Archive, would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names? They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database, before Ted Farrow purged it. The Zeniths have a copy. So it still exists. And you got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge, just out of reach, must have been frustrating. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs, or... So how long? You know, your, your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Gaius is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Gaius is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Zenus really are. You were supposed to be further along by now! Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything, everyone, they're gonna die. Hey, calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad. But I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. I should get the weapon fragment. So, I guess Beta's here to stay. I gave her a focus. Told her to talk to you to see if she can help. She's... Not what I expected. What were you expecting? I don't know. Someone more helpful, I guess. And less pessimistic. It is true she overestimated our progress. However, it is also worth noting that her confidence in your abilities emboldened her to escape the Zeniths. I guess so. Give her time. She may yet come around. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. She found that recording from the Daddy data on your focus. Mom, She's been watching it a lot. Party, right? <laughs> I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot, too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big... But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, you know, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then? One day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, 
Tilda was waiting for me. In a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was a liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away, alone. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. I acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. 
I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you, trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. So have you been upstairs at all? Not really. Varl sometimes comes down here to talk. He keeps asking if I'm okay. I thought he only wanted to know about my productivity, but... It's almost like he actually wants to talk to me. Yeah, I think he does. Have you talked with anyone else in the base? I speak with Gaia. She asked me how I'm feeling and my opinion on various topics. I didn't expect that from an AI. That's all thanks to Elizabeth. She believed Gaia had to care, not just follow her programming orders. I know. Independent emotional processing enabled the previous version of Gaia to create you, after all. Yeah. I guess so. So have you been able to make use of your expertise? I guess so. Gaia transferred a lot of data on Hephaestus to study. And? Any insights? It looks like it's been modifying its code, increasing in size and complexity over the years. There's a lot to analyze still. Okay, well, keep at it, I guess. So, aside from Varl and Gaia, who else have you been talking to? Zoe told me how you met after your escape from the Hades Proving Lab. I had no idea you were severely injured. If the Zenus had killed you, life on Earth would be doomed. My escape would have been for nothing. But they didn't kill me. And thanks to Varl and Zoe, I was able to recover. You said you and Varl talk sometimes. What about? He told me about your tribe. The Nora, and the proving ritual you did. I told him if I was born into the tribe, I'd never be able to do the proving. It does require a lot of physical training, but there are plenty of other roles besides being a hunter. I don't think I'd be suited for any of them. Well, I guess it's a good thing you're not a Nora then. Beta's convinced we won't be able to capture Hephaestus. With that attitude, do you really think she'll be able to build the rig and pulse generators? It may take some coaxing, but with some assistance, I am confident she will. I don't get her, Gaia. She's so quick to assume we'll fail. She's nothing like... like what I thought she'd be. I guess it'll be best if she stays here when we go to Gemini. <sighs> Did something go wrong with Beta and the rig? Will we be able to transport you to Gemini? The rig is complete. The problem is Hephaestus itself. It has accelerated its proliferation throughout the Cauldron Network, increasing its power. But with your subfunctions restored, we can still succeed, right? Correct. But the net effect is that absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. How long? Even with Omega Clearance, my current estimate is that the merge will take 35 hours. And each hour increases the risk of detection by the Zeniths. <sighs> Do 
two cores. Two overrides. What if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega Clearance? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculating. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5 hours. Okay. Varl, it looks like we're gonna need Beta at Gemini. Do you think you can convince her? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. What about our diversion? Are the pulse generators ready? Only a final test remains. I am confident that if fired in proximity to other cauldrons, the pulses will mask our activities at Gemini from the Zeniths. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting himself in the face. Aloy, you better get down here. Beta's in bad shape. Okay. I tried, but it's impossible. I don't think anything will convince her to go. We don't have a choice. Good luck. Beta, you have to come with us. It's the only way. It's one mission. The most important one. We need you. Tell me why you won't go. What if they... What if they take me back? Alone. In a cell again. A slave. Forever. Varl and I will be at Gemini too. I'll protect you. As soon as we get Hephaestus, we'll come straight back here. The Zeniths aren't going to find us. You don't have to be afraid. No! You can't protect me! Nothing can protect me from them! I told you from the beginning we'll never beat them! It's hopeless! Beta. Leave me alone! You don't understand! You're right. I don't understand. We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I've thought about that? I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I look through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned and isolated just like me, so what's the difference? What's my defect? He raised you, trained you, but he was never warm or loving. The day he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. But then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. What did he feel like? It was like having a strength that was always there. It's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. But it looks impossible. Look deeper. And then fight like you can win.
You don't have to go on the mission. We'll find another way. I'll go. You said you'd try to protect me. I believe you. But you have to promise me one thing. Yes, of course. If it goes bad, if the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. Do you understand? Okay. Promise? I promise. I could use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merge, to make it as efficient as possible. I'll be ready when you are. I swear. Aloy, whenever you are ready, come speak to me and I'll ask the others to make final preparations for the mission. Hey, I just wanted to make sure you're okay. I am. Is there something you wanted to talk about? Alva's joined us. Have you two had a chance to talk? She told me she's not allowed to access a lot of the data her people have. Similar to the restrictions I had in my training interface. I told her that if we succeed at Gemini, then once we return, I'll help her search for more ways to help her family. Even though Gaia will fix the biosphere, it'll take time for farmlands to fully recover. So, I want to help speed things up. How so? Bioengineering of more resilient plant strains, novel crop production methods, equipment upgrades, something that might help in the short term. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. So when you talk to the others, are you calling them over the focus? No, they'll come down here to visit. Like Erend. He's funny. But loud. I wish I could show him the media portal and the data channel. I think he would like the sports hollows. There was one where two people would criticize each other before wrestling to see who was stronger. It was bizarre and violent, but I think Erend would enjoy it. Yeah, you're right. I bet he would. So how goes studying up on the merge? Guy and I have added a function that will display a holographic interface to visualize the data stream from Hephaestus. It should make expunging its malicious code a little more efficient. That's great. Whatever we can do to cut down the merge time is going to increase our chance of success. Good work. I'll continue to search for other ways to speed up the process. But whenever you're ready, I am too. Okay, people. It's time to head out. I'll get everyone together. Connections in place. Booting up. 
Beta, Aloy. I am fully installed on this core and ready to connect to the Cauldron Network. It's good to hear your voice. Errand, everyone. Fire your pulses and sound off. I'm at my cauldron. This thingy, it's blinking. Did I do it right? In position at my cauldron. My pulse generator is blinking also. That means they're working. I'm in position and mine is too. Mine as well. Okay, radio silence until I give the all clear. Signing off. Gaia, let's cage the beast. Connecting to the Cauldron Network now. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance. Clearance confirmed. Initiating containment sequence. Here, protect Beta. They've got it. Be careful. I, I've managed to rewire most of the components in the core, but the energy processor's cracked. Without a way to fabricate another, th there's no way I can fix it. Okay, um, let me think. What if you bypass the processor, connect it to the power node? I think that could work. I think it could. It's done! You did it! Uh, there, there should be one more note to override. Good. Stand by. I'm sending Hephaestus back to you. Hephaestus! Got it! Hephaestus is back in the core! Make sure it stays there. I'm heading back. And then we can start the merge. Aloy, the, the bypass is done. The core is stable. Hephaestus is 100% contained. And we better get started with the merge. All set up. Gaia, establish the link, please. Done. We need to excise Hephaestus' malicious code. Carefully.
permanent copy. You cost us quite a lot of time. Eric, get beta. And squash that bug while you're at it. Get behind me. Come on! Quit screwing around! Now we're having fun, right? No! <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Tilda, get Gaia and Hephaestus ready for transport. Tilda! I failed. Hush. All is not lost. Tilda! What the hell are you doing? Stop her! What are they doing to her? Virtual reality dissociation. The manual merge of Hephaestus will take hours upon hours of tedious micromanagement. If she resists the work, they run simulations to induce feelings of isolation and despair. Beta, can you hear me? You're alive. They're watching me. I, I can't hold it this for extra protection for long. You should have killed me. No. No, look at me. I'm coming for you. I promise, okay? I just need you to hold out a little while longer and work on the merch. Contact again when it's time. Can you hold on? As long as I know you're coming for me, I can endure anything. When it looks impossible, look deeper. And then fight like you can win. I will, Rost. Now and always. Oh. I guess this door is unlocked now. Guy are gone. Beta's things. Hey, boy. If you were listening to this, then, um, things didn't go as planned at Gemini. I know you'll keep your promise. Which means I must be dead. Well, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? But a uh, lot's happened since you found me in that ectogenic chamber. Thank you, Aloy. You've been... my shelter. And I would risk it all again. 
to be by your side. I know you'll find a way forward. That's what you do. I'm sorry, Beta. But I'm getting you back, no matter what it takes. One more thing. Open up the channel to beta. Audio only. Hey, boy. We're here, and we're coming for you. You know what to do, right? As long as you hold up your end. We will. See you soon. Be careful. Let's go. Alpha and Catalo did their job. Now it's Beta's turn. Uh, Aloy? I think we're in trouble. Whatever you plan to do to stop those specters, you better do it now. I'm not doing anything. Beta will. She just needs a little time. Time that we don't have. Come on, Beta, come on, come on, come on. What is that? I think you got their attention. Very clever. You had Beta inject Hephaestus into the base's printer matrix. Which is faster and more powerful than any cauldron. And now it can crank out machines to its heart's content. Are you okay? Look, I, I know you've been through a lot, but you have to help me access the Zenith network. I need to see their files, anything referring to the word Nemesis. Okay. O over there. The systems are down all over the base. I should be able to take advantage of... Yes, Nemesis. Here. There's something in deep space. It's following the Zeniths to Earth. Look. Escape vectors. Alva tried to warn me about this. The Zeniths aren't planning to stay here. It's a machine of some kind. O or a swarm of them. The energy readings are... astronomical. Aloy, I don't think a natural disaster destroyed the Zenith colony on Sirius. This thing did. Earth isn't a new home for them. It's a way station. They're on the run.
I see you've been busy. And you've been lying. Nemesis, what is it? It is us. The minds of Far Zenith. Or failed copies of them, anyway. Back on Sirius, some of my peers weren't satisfied with physical immortality. They wanted digital transcendence. A way to upload their minds into any form, organic or mechanical. Nemesis was a failed experiment to that effect. Abandoned, but never erased. An immense database of our memories, emotions, and prejudices left to fester. And it destroyed your colony? We didn't realize it had gained sentience until it broke containment. It had everything it needed from our memories. Security protocols, system specs, override codes. It hacked everything before we knew what hit us. Then it took over our printing facilities, allowing it to gain any machine form it needed to wipe us out. But why? Imagine being trapped alone for decades with only the twisted echoes of megalomaniacs for company. It hates us for abandoning it to that prison. And now that it's free, it will do anything to destroy us, including denying us a safe harbor on Earth. The extinction signal that woke Hades. You didn't send it. Nemesis did. Finally, you understand. And when that failed, it launched from Sirius to finish the job itself, which is why we must flee to a random planet circling a random star somewhere it can never find us. With Gaia, so you can build yourself a new world. That's the plan, even now. Earth is finished, Aloy. Nemesis will scour it of life to deny its creators a viable home. But Elizabeth's dream won't die. You'll come with me to the stars. And with Gaia, we'll create a new world together where that monstrosity could never find us. What? No. I loved Elizabeth more than you could ever know. And I let her stay behind to die with the rest of humanity. A mistake I have regretted for a thousand years. Now she stands before me again. Not some inferior copy, but her best possible self. So I'm not asking. You're coming with me. It may seem harsh now, but you'll forgive me in a few centuries. You can't force me, Tilda. Your shield is gone. I have something better. Spectre Prime, to me. Take cover! Get to the door! Set up in Aloy. You can't win. No! Ugh. I've heard that before. You did it. Hey, where's he going? As far away as anyone can go. Oh. Are you sure? You're staying. For a time. You people are going to need all of the help you can get. Uh, does anyone else need a drink? Not if it's that ale of yours. Uh, I'd be fine with a nap. Excellent idea. Ugh, I hope he's really over this time.
There's another battle ahead, Elizabeth. Very different than the one you fought. It's not about the distant hope of creating a new world. It's about preserving the one we have. My friends have a new mission. To spread the word and ask for help. They've taken it in stride. I think it's because they've always known what I've only just started to understand. That the people of this world have the strength to fight any battle. The ingenuity to solve any problem. and the resilience to rise after any setback. As for me, I can't say I'm not afraid. What lies ahead will be harder than anything we've faced before. For the first time in my life, I feel like I'm not alone. What are you up to? I'm getting a head start on looking for ways to temporarily stabilize the biosphere. We may not have a Festus, but I'm sure we can come up with something. I paid Brawl's grave a visit earlier. Back at Gemini, he, he... He tried so hard to protect me. He was my first friend. I still can't believe he's gone. Me too. So... Nemesis. I had a lot of theories on what destroyed the Zenith colony on Sirius, but a twisted amalgamation of uploaded Zenith brain scans was definitely not one of them. And now it's headed for Earth. Yeah. Be careful out there, Aloy. When the Zeniths forced me to work on merging Hephaestus, it was... Well, um, it was really pissed off. Capturing it again, it's not gonna be easy. We'll find a way. It's good to be back, Aloy. Elizabeth had a dream for this world. I guess a lot didn't go as planned. And there are still dangers ahead. Maybe the biggest yet. But after what Beta and I accomplished, I... I have hope. We'll fight for Elizabeth's dream. Together. <laughs>